Imagine being cast as a character in a franchise that makes literally billions per movie and yet finding that your part and the movies that you're in are so bad that you literally ask Marvel to kill off your character. Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. It's been a little over a year now since Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Media came out, and Marvel has not said anything about a return of that character or that franchise. Not even Paul Rudd knows if he's coming back for that, and he's, you know, Ant-Man. Recently, Ant-Man star Michael Douglas gave an interview where he claimed that he asked Marvel to kill off his character in the last Ant-Man movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And I find that hilarious for reasons I'm going to get into in just a minute. But first, here's a word from this video's sponsor. I think most of us can agree that we could use some improvement on our eating habits. And finding Nourish was the first step for me. Nourish is the easiest way to find and talk to a licensed registered dietitian. In my first session with my registered dietitian, I was given not just new and sustainable ways to improve my diet, but also the support of someone who during that call really took their time to get to know me and my needs. And she also helped me figure out changes that I could make to feel better in my body every day. Using Nourish is also super convenient because it's all online. So if you're like me, you can literally talk to your dietitian from the comfort of your own home in your pajamas. And the best part, Nourish accepts hundreds of insurance plans across all 50 states. 94% of Nourish patients will pay zero dollars out of pocket, which means finding and and creating better nutritional habits won't break the bank. Ready to make a change? Find your personal dietitian and start your journey to better nutrition at usenourish.com slash snarkyj. But let's talk about that interview. While promoting his new series, Franklin, Michael Douglas gave an interview to The View where he told them that he had asked Marvel if they could kill him off in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. According to Douglas, he told them that he wanted this fantastic death. His plan was to have something very serious, so serious that his idea was to be shrunken down to the size of an ant so he could explode. Very serious stuff. And so when he exploded, he wanted them to use all these great special effects. All very serious stuff. Again, very, very serious to get shrunk down and explode. Michael Douglas wanted this for his character so that he would not have to come back for a fourth Ant-Man or Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. Now we all know that in the general sense, Michael Douglas did not get his wish because Hank Pym does not shrink down to the size of an ant and explode in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. By the end of that movie, that character is still very much alive. However, the Ant-Man franchise probably died with that one, even though Michael Douglas's character didn't. See, when you think about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, first of all, I actually made a video about the fact that I walked out on that movie. Granted, it was a free screening. I've never actually walked out on a movie that I paid for, but I walked out of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I just couldn't put myself through it, and I had never even considered doing that with a Marvel movie. So not only did I hate it, but Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania was also critically panned. It was the first of Marvel's huge bombs in the year 2023. And in 2023, the failure of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania was second only to the absolute disaster that was, you guessed it, the Marvels. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania made Marvel less than 500 million dollars against a basic budget of 200 million, and that's not counting all the reshoots, marketing, production, distribution, which essentially meant that the movie needed to make 727 million dollars worldwide to break even. And like we said, it made 500 million, which means that that didn't happen. So I would not be surprised if Ant-Man got the raid treatment and never saw the light of day at Marvel ever again. Raid? <gasps> To make matters even worse, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania had the ability to stay a pretty bleh Marvel movie in terms of ratings, but it could have been at least important because it was the one that brought Kang the Conqueror, our next Thanos level threat, to the big screen. Except after that, actor Jonathan Majors was convicted on two charges of misdemeanor assault and harassment, which of course forced the Disney-owned Marvel to drop him completely. So it's no wonder 
that an actor like Michael Douglas, who has literally been in dozens of movies, including classics like Basic Instinct and Fatal Attraction, it's no wonder the guy wouldn't want to tie his name to this bullshit any further. I mean, I'm a no-name YouTuber, right? Who gives a shit? But if they put me in a movie that was that bad, made that little money, was panned that hard by fans and critics, I would literally ask them to launch me through a cannon. Get me out of here, you scurvy bird! <laughs> and never remember this happened again. So I can imagine a real big time actor like Michael Douglas would also want to be killed off. Back in the good old days of Marvel, we saw big name actors occasionally take on roles. I mean, you consider the fact that Robert Redford, who's a legendary actor, took the role of Alexander Pierce in Captain America the Winter Soldier, and he luckily ended up being the big bad in the best movie in the entire MCU. No, it's not because I had a huge crush on Sebastian Stan. That movie fucking rocks to this day. I will accept no arguments in the comments section on that. And Michael Douglas, who is also as revered, if not more revered than Robert Redford, gets Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, including promos like this. Ants. Ants. Which are admittedly hilarious, but also like Michael Douglas doing a, a, a ham bone thing? What is going on? Anyways, all this is to say that we now live in a world where Marvel movies make no money, Marvel no longer seeks to entertain us, instead they just push agendas, and now Marvel actors literally beg for their characters to be killed off. They would rather lose a paycheck than continue to show up to set. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive photo shoot sets and content. I will add links to both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Michael Douglas asking to be killed off in the comments below.